The governments of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark have launched the Nordic Ammunition Initiative to provide artillery shells to Ukraine. According to a statement from Norway's Ministry of Defense on October 11, 2023, the three nations will collectively contribute approximately 600 million Norwegian kroner, about 52 million euros, to this initiative. Ukraine is expected to receive the ammunition in 2023. Bjorn Arild Graham, Norway's Minister of Defense, explained that the initiative aims to meet Ukraine's urgent need for ammunition amidst a high-intensity war. Additionally, the initiative will strengthen the industrial capabilities and ammunition security of the participating countries. The tripartite agreement has decided to expedite the supply of ammunition to Ukraine through an existing framework agreement between the Norwegian Defense Logistics Organization, FLO, and the Norwegian company NAMO. Graham assured that NAMO's commitment to this initiative will not impact its existing supply obligations to Norway. Funding for Norway's role in this initiative will come from the military segment of the Nansen Support Program for Ukraine, which has also allocated approximately 17 million euros for demoning activities in conflict-affected areas in Ukraine. The ongoing high-intensity conflict in Ukraine requires a vast amount of ammunition of different calibers and for various uses. Global arms industries were clearly unprepared for such high demand, and today's new challenge for each country is to develop an industry capable of sustaining a high-intensity war. The challenge is twofold for countries supporting one side or the other, as they must not only replenish their own stocks but also those of the side they are supporting. The Nordic countries have undoubtedly understood Ukraine's immediate need to bolster its ammunition stocks in light of the conflict that is not diminishing in intensity. The new challenge between Russia and Ukraine is indeed the capability of their military-industrial complexes to produce material, with Ukrainians being able to rely on Western aid.